This is the part of the year when hills surrounding Davos are laden with snow and hotels with high-profile guests. Leaders from across the world flock to this Swiss town to attend the annual World Economic Forum meeting. Government heads, politicians, economists, celebrities, investors, business leaders, journalists, all are in attendance here, separated by coloured badges. The white one with the hologram is the most coveted. Only government policy makers and select WEF employees get it. Journalists get an orange badge which restricts their entry. The annual World Economic Forum meeting is being held between January 16 and 20. Some 2,700 paying members and scores of invitees are taking part in the five-day event to discuss global issues in about 500 sessions. But what led to the formation of this forum and when? Let us take a trip down the memory lane. The urge among European business leaders to become more competitive than their American counterparts led to the formation of this forum. In 1971, German professor Klaus Schwab had called a meeting of European business leaders at Davos. The agenda was to come up with ways to become more competitive. Over 400 business leaders from 31 countries took part in the inaugural meeting of the European Management Symposium. Schwab had then said that Davos provided the perfect setting to host such an event. This meeting went on to become an annual affair later. And after the 1974 oil crisis, politicians and government heads also started getting invitations. And by 1987, as the size and clout of the institution grew, its name was changed to World Economic Forum. Currently, it is a non-profit organization which is funded by leading world companies. This year's theme, Cooperation in a Fragmented World, appears apt to the changing world scenario. Pandemic, increased protectionism and Russia-Ukraine war have divided the world. World leaders are likely to brainstorm ways to find a solution to these vexed issues. They will also try to find ways to fix the broken supply chain too. Looming economic crisis and climate change too are on the top of the agenda. WEF Managing Director Sadia Zahidi's statement sums up the theme of this event. She said, leaders must look beyond today's crisis to invest in food and energy innovation, education and skill development and in job-creating high-potential markets of tomorrow. There is no time to lose. From India, Union Ministers Ashwini Vaishnav, Smriti Irani, R.K. Singh and Mansukh Mandavia are attending the event. Chief Ministers of at least three states are also there, apart from about 100 business leaders including Mukesh Ambani, Gautam Adani, N. Chandra Shekharan, Kumar Mangalam Birla and Adar Poonawala. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.